Hello, so welcome to our recorded sample problem and solution for journalizing sales and cash collection. Okay, in our sample number one, we have on 15 January 20x1, ABC Limited sold an inventory worth $20,000 for cash. The cost of the inventory sold was $16,000. So what we will do is, uh, we will sh I will show you the journal entry or entries, and then I'll also present to you some analysis of that journal entry. So here, it's obvious that there, there is a cash coming in, and there will be an inventory coming out of the entity. So in the accountant's point of view, we have to record it in the journal entry format. So in the journal entry, we'll have uh, debit cash at bank, we receive the money, and then credit sales. And then for inventory uh, coming out, so that will be debit uh, cost of sales and then credit inventory. So the analysis here will be, okay, uh, for cash at bank, it will, be, it will be having increase in asset. And that sales will signify increase in equity. So the equation still balance. For cost of sales, that is actually decrease in equity and decrease in assets. So again, the accounting equation is still balanced because if you decrease an equity on the other side, it will have a particular equivalent on asset, which is in the other side. Now in sample problem number two, on 20th January 20X1, ABC Limited sold inventory for $12,000 and 30. When you see this N30, that signify that the sale is uh, on account or on credit and then the cost of inventory sold was eight thousand dollars then afterwards 26 january 20x1 abc limited uh, received the payment from xyz from 20th january 20x1 sale so we are required to uh, journalize the transactions so here we have uh, debit accounts receivable, which signify, uh, which is signifying the credit sale. Okay, so also we'll see the sale on the credit side here. And then cash, sorry, cost of sales, debit, and credit inventory. Okay, so in analysis we have increase in asset that is accounts receivable. We're expecting the customer to pay later on and then increase in equity okay so that is represented by sale so again increase on one side and increase in another side it will make the equation balance the next one is decrease in equity and then decrease in asset so here we're representing the inventory coming out okay, of the entity now for collection that will be uh, debit cash credit uh, accounts receivable okay so here our analysis will be that will be increased in one asset and decrease in another asset so it's just compensating okay on one side okay increase in one asset but it has also a decrease in another asset so that ends my presentation Thank you for watching.